Okay, so we just finished the 2022 Mind Sports Olympiad. We've got a new Pentamine world champion, Andrus Kusk, holding the big trophy right here. He's going to have his name engraved on it for a record fifth, uh, fifth time and tying the, uh, the previous five-time holder, Demis Asabis. Andres, how do you feel winning uh, the Pentamine this year? It feels really, really awesome. I even struggle to find words because it has been so many years since I won it last time. I think it was six years ago. So it has been a long wait and I have been working so hard for it. So now it really feels that the work has paid off. So I'm really super, super happy. You know, they say that uh, those that prepare are the, are the ones that get lucky. And uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps there's a combination of that uh, this time, right? I think there is definitely some truth in it that uh, those people who are putting more work into it are tend to get uh, more lucky. So yeah, I, so, I believe in it. So where, where were you lucky uh, uh, this week, would you say? I think I definitely was lucky in some of the games, like Seven Wonders, because one just doesn't win it without, uh, without uh, some luck. And of course, I also won Lost Cities, which also needs uh, that, that, some, some that, that was an incredible result, I want to say, the Lost Cities. You, you were dominating the field. You had 10 out of 10 uh, going in, so you had a guaranteed first place before, before the final round, uh, and you finished a clear first, cementing your position. Um, how, yeah, but still, you must have been nervous because apparently Ankush could have overtaken you. He was playing Agricola, and if he had won that, uh, this would have been his. Uh, were you nervous? Um, Actually, I wasn't uh, nervous just because it wasn't really in my hands. Uh, whatever I did, it didn't uh, matter too much because everything was still uh, depending on how Ankos is doing in Agricola. So given that I wasn't able to really influence it anyhow, then I also, also wasn't uh, nervous. Maybe this helped me to, to play well in, uh, in Lost Cities, that I was, was able to keep calm and wasn't, wasn't nervous. Right. Yeah, you know, it's very interesting. I think uh, they say that a true champion is one that... Uh, that uh, thrives under stress. And I think that was a, a good example of that because uh, you actually excelled uh, when, uh, when the stress was on. And, um, and you're right, you couldn't control what Ankush did. But I will say, Lost Cities finished before Agricola, so you had to wait for a while to find out what the final result was. Were you nervous then? Um, luckily, I had the opportunity to play a game of uh, backgammon while, <laughs> while the Agricola was still uh, in progress. So I. I had all my uh, thoughts with this uh, backgammon friendly game, so I didn't, uh, didn't have time to be nervous on, on, how, on what's going on in, in Agricola. Other, good... Otherwise, definitely I would have been uh, super nervous. I see. Well, it's good to distract yourself when you do love playing games. Speaking of backgammon, I think we talked about potentially going to the World Championships next year in Monte Carlo. Uh, 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 I think that's something you might want to do. Is that right? Yes, I'm interested. Uh, definitely. It depends uh, how much time I have. Uh, next year to uh, to dedicate to, to backgammon but uh, if there is enough time if i feel uh, strong enough next year then then why not it uh, sounds like a lot of fun so would be great to go there well first again a huge congrats on winning the pentamine world championship how yes. many medals did you win overall the, this year do you know i don't even know i didn't count i think i won three golds and i won really a bunch of other medals because in the beginning of the week i think i got the medal almost every event that i entered wow. so it, it was quite a lot i think maybe it was even 10 medals or at least close to at least close to 10 medals so it was it was quite nice incredible what are you going to do uh, to decompress uh, in the next uh, the next few days the next week um Next few days, I will just uh, enjoy the moment, uh, do nothing, just try to enjoy the moment as much as possible. Then, unfortunately, work uh, starts again, so... Well, tomorrow there's a meeting, I believe, at the Estonian Embassy. Uh, they'll get to personally congratulate you, uh, which is quite cool, and you'll get to bring this beautiful trophy with your name engraved on it. Uh, so that that's very exciting. Uh, so I think some, some very good news for Estonia. Also, Estonia did quite well, uh, I believe... Uh, that uh, the women's pentamind and the junior pentamind went to Estonians. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that there was a Marcus Ikla and uh, Madli Mirme. So we've got uh, some amazing Estonians. And that's, again, due to you, I think, uh, inspiring a, a new generation, right? Yeah, I think I can take a little bit of credit uh, for that. I, I cannot, unfortunately, take a lot of credit because there are other people who are really responsible for keeping this Estonian mind sports in, in very high level. Uh, again, starting from 
already starting from uh, young kids to to have those mind sports classes where they can uh, train and, and uh, practice. So I think uh, this uh, inspirer role maybe maybe I do have which from which I can take a little bit of credit indeed. Well, you're a great champion. You're a real inspiration, and it's uh, it's it's wonderful to see you uh, win it a fifth time. And I hope to see you compete in many more years. Congratulations. Sure, sure. I will be back next year. Try to win it again.